quick clarification. First of all, the POI we get from Murad, you're basically canceling an unlawful something. No, we're not talking about one specific commander giving one specific order and only him. What we are talking about are cases where either it is a chain of command that every single part of the chain or just high ranks in the chain still affirm uh, it, actually, the same decision or there's a culture in which there is that same action happening again and again which is so for example SEAL Team 6 who have the culture for years and was just exposed of going to civilian houses and accepting civilian casualties and then covering it up. These are, are the cases we're actually talking about. Second of all, what about rape? No, for three reasons. First of all, rape is incredibly, un not, it doesn't happen that often in the, the armies we're talking about, such as the US Army, stuff like that. Even when it happens, it is very rarely an order by a specific officer and not just the decision of someone with power. And lastly, even when it's an order from one officer, it's incredibly rarely a culture that was created by many, many officers giving the same order. That's why it's very, very, very rarely, rarely ever the case. We're mostly talking about cases where you kill civilians through raids, where you might use a, a ban banned weapons and not like a chemical gas, but usually just like uh, illegal bullets or like hollow points. These are the cases that actually get to court most of the time. First of all, let's talk about self-defense because we give you two very simple cases. One gets a response and it wasn't very good. The first thing, the thing we say is by definition, in every single country, Refusing a command by a, a superior officer is a crime which you can either be sentenced to in, in life in jail or sometimes death or treason. This is important, okay? Because because this is, they say, wait, that's a, 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 a lawful, like unlawful order. We say that it's much more than that. Because specifically in the cases where war crime, first of all, there's an incredible culture of cover-up most of the time. So it means even going against it, before I could even make anything, go to the media or something like that, I'll get demoted, oftentimes might be sent to jail for like minor infraction that, was, that is made up, and all these things that will never actually mean that you'll never get to court. Even when I am able to talk about it, it's rarely ever sued, so even when it's sued, it, usually you lose the case, which means it's again not a war crime, which means my ability to ever fight it is incredibly minimal, and the likelihood scenario and the reasonable expectation is for me to simply be sent to jail, it not being recognized as a war crime, and me losing everything, which we think is an unfair comparative to put to a weak person against an entire chain of command that is going against them. Second of all, we say, and this was completely unresponded, oftentimes the case what actually happens is even if I could have decided back home, when I'm actually in the scenario, it is a life-threatening situation. So when SEAL Team 6, SEAL Team 6 goes to Afghanistan to a civilian raid and kills civilians, even if, because they're in a hostile city controlled by the Taliban, even though the technical people are raiding right now are technically civilians, therefore it is a war crime that is currently being prosecuted in the US, the mere fact is that if I didn't go with my team, I I'm in a hostile environment that I can be I can be kidnapped and or harmed in a very high likelihood. But even if you don't buy that, even if my life aren't specifically in danger at a specific situation, we simply give you a lot of reasons to believe why you your choice is slowly being eroded in these places. We talk about how the entire goal of the army is to slowly, slowly erode your ability to ever make judgment against your superior officer and, and have an effect an almost perfect hierarchy. You, they, and think about the means they use it. He decided every single small thing. When do I shower? When do I go to sleep? What exactly do I have to do? I have to do push-ups right now. I need to sleep in the desert. I might go to jail if I don't listen to him once. The whole point of the military structure is to create a perfect hierarchy where I don't have an ability to question higher superior officers. Even more importantly, I have an incredible commitment to my, uh, to my fellow citizens. And they make me think that if I ever do something that might endanger them or don't support them, I am a wrong person and I defeated the purpose of why I'm here. I have an, an entire mindset of war, which completely clouds my judgment. I'm terrified. I'm alone. I'm in a different country. I'm afraid to my, to my life. My ability to make decisions is incredibly compromised. And lastly, specifically because it's oftentimes a culture created in my unit, my ability to ever make that judgment against it is completely compromised because they often use methods of fear, methods of threatening, methods of, of concealment, a concealment, a concealment and hatred to make sure that these laws are never actually questioned. All these things make, mean that my ability to make criticism is incredibly limited. They say, aha, but we, you need a trade-off. 
No, we don't accept that logic. There is some minimum amount of ability and autonomy to make a decision that is needed for us to prosecute you on something that will send you to jail for the rest of your life. When the entire military structure that has control of every single part of your life was destined for you to have no judgment, to have no ability to question, to have no ability to go against your own people, we think that you don't, especially when you're in such a compromised position of almost like of a cloud judgment, your, our expectation from you to make that minimum amount of autonomy and ability to make a decision is simply not enough to actually justify suing you. Before I move on, yes. Yes, if you agree that criticism in soldiers is important, on each side of the debate you think we will have more We, we really soldiers? don't, honestly, we really don't think it matters in, uh, in any way, simply, uh, before everything, simply because if you're suing someone who might be sent to the jail for the rest of your life and shamed in, for in this entire country over something he shouldn't be punished for, just because it might be beneficial for society, we don't think that's such a fight, that's a fight and you can't do it. Lastly, let's talk about being... Uh, oh, and the last thing they say is, oh, but commanders are also pressured. Obviously, there's a huge amount of delta. First of all, on their actual power to make this. They, were not, they did not have, for months or years, an entire system that basically told them, you cannot make this specific decision, and you, always have, and you don't have the right to question this specific decision. Second of all, we simply say that their, their, ability, their ability to do so, which means how much pressure is put on them, are they actually in danger of going to jail for life, are they actually in danger of risking their entire squad is significantly less true. Let's continue. Lastly, let's talk about uh, uh, are they actually aware? You know, you know what? I don't have the time for it, so let's just wait. Look, do we think that war crimes are terrible and when you actually make an active decision, you should be punished for it? Yes. Do we think some low-ranking officers should be punished or at least punished less than commanding officers? Yes, but the basic thing we say is in many of the cases, they actually are in significant risk just by refusing. In, in, in many cases, they don't have the ability to make judgments, both because of the specific situations they're in and because there's an entire incredibly powerful system that was just meant to erode their judgment. It is unjustified for all these reasons, I beg you to something.